CHS. Welcome back to the Daily Buzz. I'm Kisa Robinson. To start off with, please do not forget that tomorrow is the college fair from 9 to 12. It would be a great way to learn about different options for college and learn more about specific programs. The Center Education Foundation 5K is on Saturday, October 7th at 9 o'clock at Bradbridge Shopping Center. Beautiful course, very few hills, and a greeting from the CHS marching band at the finish line. And of course, enjoy the South KC block party immediately following the race. We are pleased to announce that Center has been, has been awarded a school safety grant from Desi in the amount of almost $200,000. The funds will be used to purchase additional two-way radio security cameras, AED units, stop the bleed kits, and other items to help keep our students and staff safe. On October 5th, 2011, Steve Jobs, the visionary co-founder of Apple Inc., which revolutionized the computer, music, and mobile communications industries with such devices as the Macintosh, iPod, iPhone, and iPad, dies at age 56 of complications from pancreatic cancer. Let's take a look at some other events that happened on this day. October 5th, 2001. A new scare for Americans just weeks after the September 11th terror attacks. Robert Stevens, a tabloid photo editor in Florida, dies from inhaled anthrax. He's the first of five people to die from anthrax-laced letters, which also infect more than a dozen others in the United States. The cases remain unsolved. 1988. In Omaha, Nebraska, a memorable moment during a debate between two candidates for vice president. Republican Dan Quayle argues he has as much experience as John F. Kennedy did when he was elected president. Democrat Lloyd Benson replies, I served with Jack Kennedy. I knew Jack Kennedy. Jack Kennedy was a friend of mine. Senator, you're no Jack Kennedy. 1962. Ladies and gentlemen, The Beatles. Love Me Do, the first hit by Rock's Fab Four is released in Britain. Beatlemania sweeps America more than a year later. 1969. Also in Britain, Monty Python's Flying Circus debuts on BBC TV. The comedy series with its absurd gags about silly walks, dead parrots, and spam becomes a cult hit in the United States. And 2001, Barry Bonds of the San Francisco Giants becomes baseball's king of single-season home runs. He hits two homers against the Los Angeles Dodgers, breaking Mark McGuire's record of 70. Bonds ends the season with 73 home runs, still the record, nearly six years before topping Hank Aaron's record of career home runs. Today in history, October 5th, Mike Gracia, the Associated Press. Hey CHS, I'm Sade bringing you guys Song of the Week. This week's song of the week is Lovely Day by Bill Withers. This song is about having a good day no matter what's going on around you and starting the day off with positivity. Bill Withers wrote this song about one of his producers named Skip Scarborough. Bill Withers explained in an, honor, in an interview saying Skip was a very nice gentleman. The way Skip was, every day was a lovely day. He was an optimist. Let's take a look back at a short clip from the chorus. Lovely day. Lovely day. Oh, oh we didn't yeah, see yeah. you guys there. We didn't see you all there. Hey, Kisa. Hey, Sade. So how was, um, how are you going to go to the fair tomorrow? Oh, well, so I'll be at school tomorrow, and then, you know, like, they'll announce it over the intercom and stuff. But also, I don't know if you knew this, but the college fair, they're, like, they're giving away waivers. If you want to apply to college for free, like a free waiver, then you should definitely go to the college fair tomorrow, because... I don't know about you, but I'll be there. Will you be there? I'm definitely going to be there. Okay, so what made you choose that song by Bill Withers? That song is just such a great song to start the day with, and I feel like it just brings so much positivity, and I think CHS could really use some positivity. For sure. All right, CHS, well, have, have a great, great day, CHS. CHS. <laughs> <laughs>